ladies and gentlemen, B.O.B. What's going on, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, you've been looking Yo, at the crowd. Yo, what's up? How's it? How y'all feeling? Hey, dude, how does that feel to know that they came to see you perform here live tonight? Man, it's good. You know, I, you know, this is why I do this. I make music just to perform it. Like, you know, that's that's really the payoff for me. You know, that's that's where it all, you know, it, it all cultivates and everything accumulates all the. The, everything you put up with in this industry, you know, you all put it on stage. So, from a guy who know who's a, a, you love performing, like you said. So you get a kick out of performing in front of 50 people, but it's got to be a totally different feeling when you're in front of a completely full Molson Canadian Amphitheater here in Toronto. When you look out at all the faces that are here to hear you sing, man, you know, it's it's an amazing feeling because, you know, it's you know, this is music. This is literally yeah. something you you go in the studio with nothing. A complete blank canvas yeah and you make music that a whole amphitheater of people want to hear and it's just crazy man it's like it's manifestation at its finest so then when you are creating music like you said when you go into the studio with a blank canvas do you envision performing it in front of a crowd like this do you think when you're writing music when you're creating music do you think of it in the sense of how good will this sound in front of a giant crowd well you know you know now I actually do you know before yeah. before I was really just making it you know just hoping that someone <laughs> you know would hear it. and then when you get out there and you go to different venues and different arenas and you hear how music sounds and you know what I mean it just gives yeah. you a, a deeper insight and you know more of a planning ahead it's got to be something about the adrenaline that goes through you when you're up on stage <laughs> you, how can you match that? You can't. You know what? I, I would say it's better than sex, but <laughs> well, yeah, that'd be kind of pushed. I don't know. <laughs> what about sex on stage? I don't know. Maybe. Damn. Maybe, maybe damn. that's the next step. Yo, you're on the song, man. <laughs> Yo, you're, you're just joining us, Bob, here with us on Kiss 92.5. So the album did fantastic. Yeah. And what's next for you? What's the plan? Uh, for me, man, you know, uh, after the, you know, really after putting out the first two albums, you know, I really feel like I'm really in a good groove, you know. And well, you've been working so hard. Are you going to take some time off or what's going man, on? Man, I just, I don't know, man. I can't, I can't stay, you know, you can, you can ask everybody that I'm, I'm with. I can't, I can't stop working. So you're a workaholic then? I am. Constantly writing? Constantly writing, constantly. And like, I'm writing, see, because you get, I don't say too much, but you get, you know, you get ideas when you're not in the studio that's what actually yeah. when most of the ideas come so so who knows maybe the ne the next bob the massive track that you put out <laughs> is going to be something that you started it created it grew from nothing right here right at the most canadian amphitheater tonight it could be right here at this on this couch in front of y'all it could be you know what i'd love to be the inspiration for bob's next hit i think that'd be <laughs> tremendous i think that'd be amazing so listen I, I the crowd is so pumped up to see you i, I know uh, you're going to give them everything you got of all the collaborations that you've done What's your favorite? Do you have one who's been your favorite to, uh, to work with? Ah, man. Can you say that? Or is that like saying, I'm going to pick which one of my kids is my favorite? You know what? I, it, no, it is like that, but... I, I, I <laughs> but you can it, answer I, anyway. I, I, I give you one. <laughs> Good. Uh, but it is a tie. <laughs> 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 All right, so what's the tie? Uh, I really like... I'm going to tell you what, I like working with Taylor Swift. Yep. Because this is why she really went, you know, she really went outside of her what she would normally do on a yeah. record. She really experimented in. And as well for me, you know, I'm always collaborating with different people, but I've never collaborated with a country pop star before, and that was my first time. And I think it came out beautifully. I have amazing. I mean, people yeah. went crazy for that song. Both of us is huge on Kiss you know, 92. making a good song is, is good, but making a good song that's challenging to make and crosses boundaries, that's that's a whole nother level, man. Now, the, what I, I don't know. Can you say that the biggest one you've done so far has been Airplanes? Do you think that's been the biggest one? I could, you could say that. All right. So here's That's what, what got me here. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> I, I think maybe I'll join you on stage and, and I can do the Haley Williams part for you. Can we pretend that <laughs> airplane? We'll let the crowd vote. And see and I, they th they'll throw me out of this building. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. B.O.B., thanks for stopping by. I can't wait for you man. to kill Absolutely. it. You're going to be amazing Absolutely. up on stage. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Kiss 92.5's Wham Bam 2012. Make some noise for B.O.B. <laughs>